Now the question is, uh, what does the court do about the fact that you were in direct contempt of court? Just for the record, you need to know that I could give you a jail sentence. I could fine you up to $7,500. I could order any costs or expenses associated with the proceeding in any combination of that. I don't want to do that. Um, I understand, well actually I don't, I, I'm a parent, I can't say that I understand. I don't know what it would be like to stand there as a father and know that three of your girls were injured physically and emotionally by somebody sitting in a courtroom. I can't fathom that. Angie, the Attorney General, did share with me that uh, you heard things today on the record that you didn't know before. I can see that absolutely creating an anger and a rage so great that any parent would want to do physical harm. So I understand that. But you have to understand that this is a courtroom and this is where we carry out and enforce the rules of law. It is not acceptable that we combat assault with assault. We have to teach our children and other adults that when people do things that are wrong and they break the law, we handle that by using the legal proceedings to punish them. We cannot and I cannot tolerate or condone vigilantism or any other type of action that basically comes down to an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That is not, and that's not what's best in this situation. What's best here is that we take this horrible tragedy and we learn to educate people. And I don't disagree that as a parent and the victims that you want people held accountable. I don't disagree with that. Use the legal system to do it. Use the system of justice that's here and there will be the proper punishment. But as for the direct contempt of court, there is no way that this court is going to issue any type of punishment given the circumstances of this case. And I do, my heart does go out to you and your family because of what you've gone through. Now, it's my understanding that you are going to be released, but I need you to give me your solemn promise that nothing else is going to happen, that nobody has to be concerned about going to their cars, and that this was truly an immediate and emotional reaction of a father to hearing what you heard today. Go ahead, sir. That is correct, Your Honor. I appreciate your sympathy. Um, I'd like to apologize to you in the courtroom, courtroom proceedings. I do have the highest and utmost respect for our judicial system. I'd like to apologize to everyone in the courtroom and all the officers, all the fine upstanding officers that were forced to deal with my outburst. Um, I came here in support of my daughters. I knew they were going to read a statement. I didn't know what all was in it. They would not let me see it ahead of time. I've dealt with my daughters as of late very delicately. I'm realizing they may never trust a man again. Then I got to hear that, and I look over here, and Larry Nasser's shaking his head no, like it didn't happen. Who would put herself through this if it didn't happen? I lost control. I apologize a hundred times. Um, you have my word I will not be at future proceedings. I didn't come to the proceedings before today. I came solely for support of my daughters today. I'm definitely calmed down. I'm embarrassed. I did, I'm not here to upstage my daughters. I'm here to help them heal. I believe you. And I accept your apology on behalf of the court. And let's just leave it at that now, shall we? Thank you. I think that's the best way to handle it.